Hello everyone! I'm back with a new project. I'm going to make a small um, just a drawers um, commode kind of thing out of these two boxes of um, dishwasher um, boxes. And I'm going to glue them together. Then I'm going to make drawers for these two compartments and then with the help of my man I'm going to put wheels on and it's a project for our new conservatory and I'm going to show you how I do it. I'm going to glue them together first so I'll be right back. Okay you guys, so now it's glued together and I already decorated the back and then I'm going to attach this paper um, on the sides and the top and I want to show you how I made drawers to fit inside. I, I found some packaging that I had so it's recycled um, card corrugated uh, cardboard that's what you call it. So I I measured this parameter and then I drew it here and then I measured how high I want the drawers to be and also um, all four sides and then I made flaps um, to glue the box together so that it actually has sides. So I just wanted to show you that. I'm going to cut this out and assemble it. Um, Now that I cut uh, <clears throat> the drawer out, I'm taking my score tool and my ruler and then I'm scoring at all the fold lines here. Oops, that's a little off there, but I think it's okay. On this side as well. And on the short sides, that means front and back. So, that's a little more hard. So what I'm going to do now, is that I'm going to use hot glue on this side and attach the sides like this. And then... I have a drawer. So, there I have my drawer. And if I can demonstrate, it goes in. It's not very easy to catch on camera, actually. Like this, and then of course you would like to um, embellish with some pattern paper of your choice. So I already made this one, and that's how it's going to look. So I'll um, I'm going to decorate with this and then I'm going to show you the finished results in a minute. Okay, so now I have it all decorated and I'm going to put wheels on the bottom here um, so that it it's just 
a fun thing. So, my man, he is the man with the tools. He cut me these two pieces of um, of wood. I think it's plywood. Um, we have built with it in the conservatory. Um, and this is where this little thing is going to be as well. So I'm going to put a piece of plywood inside and on the bottom and then attach the wheels here. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to do, go to my man and he promised he would um, um, attach the wheels for me. And I'm going to bring the camera and then I'm going to show you how to attach wheels on this little commode. So Okay, so now we have wheels. Yoo-hoo! How great is that? Um, and then I'm going to make some finishing touches like uh, embellishments like this flower. I'm going to do that on this drawer as well. <coughs> and for that I cut out um, three flowers. This is some coffee stained or coffee dyed paper that I made. Um, so I'm going to glue on the flowers. Okay, so there we have that, and for the top I have planned um, an easel card. Um, I'm going to glue this on here and then attach this and then I, I use some coffee stained line paper that um, Debbie Ann from Ephemeris Vintage Garden offers us a freebie on her blog. Just go to um, ephemerisvintagegarden.com and then um, sign up for the newsletter and then they'll be there um, in her um, blog history, I think. It's called, <clears throat> or the archives there, you could search for it. And then I just, um, I found some, um, some sentiments, um, life quotes, so to say, um, on Google or Pinterest. And then I just typed them in, in a word program in different fonts. And then I'm going to cut out the shape and then glue it onto this. <coughs> and then, um, you know, it's for the conservatory um, where we're going to welcome guests to our house. And then I just thought it would be such a nice thing. Um, to have this writing. It's, um, if you didn't have a chance to read it, um, let me just read it out aloud. Hang on. Welcome to our comfortable, happy, sometimes messy, usually quiet, full of love home. And I, I made it, um, with um, sayings that goes for our home. You know, we don't have small children here anymore. 
Um, so it's usually quiet. We don't play loud music per se. So it's, it's, it's fairly quiet, I would say. So let's finish this card. I think I'm going to distress it just or ink it up. It's, it is. <coughs> Then I'm going to attach it here and then I need something to uh, to hold it here on the bottom. Um, and then I think I'm going to... Okay, so I think I found what I needed. I think I'm going to glue down one of these and this black one. So I'm just going to give it a dot of hot glue just to be sure yes that I am happy with and then then I will have to glue it oops onto here and I also I also cut out some more flowers that I want to embellish with Okay, now I have glued this on and then I'm going to attach the flowers that I made. Um, I have four of these bigger ones and then I have some smaller ones as you see here. So. Let's decorate and some of them I glued on some um, dimensions so they can stand <coughs> up a little. I'm not sure where I want this. Maybe this one there. And then um, I'm going to show you when it's in place under a table. So please hold on for that. So you guys, here it is. All finished and in place. The drawer. And it fits under this little table. the drawers with little knots and is I made it just to store the tea lights that I need for all the uh, the glasses and holders that I have here and have planned so that's going to be there and I'm going to fill this up as well and so I can take it out and then people can see this um, I think it is just wonderful I really really love it 
and I think it goes well with the colors here. You see the chair. So let's put it back in place. So nicely tucked under there. So I'm happy with it. Um, isn't it awesome what you can do with just a little bit of recycling and a few pieces of pattern paper? So, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Bye!